We are down in the Commodore room and I'm about to show you how to clean your 1541 read write heads without one of these cleaning discs. I don't even like these. And it's super easy. It just take a few seconds. So let's get started. In this video, I am going to show you how to clean your re read and write head. It takes like five seconds. We're going to do the 1541. This is my modded 1541. Check this out. Reset switch. Select switch. Right protect switch. We are also going to do 1541 twos and a 1571 over here. I got this one modded with the power switch in front there. Supplies we're going to need isopropyl alcohol. The higher the number, I feel the quicker it evaporates. So I like to use 90%, 99%. I don't use Q tips, I use to see these electronic cleaners. I'll put a link in the description. I get these off Amazon. They're really nice. Also, note there are two different types. Or manufacturers of the 1541-2. I prefer this one. It has a speed adjust right on top. That's the uh, Mitsumi. But anyway, they all clean the same. So I already opened these. I have this 1541 open. We're going to open this 1571 here now. I wasn't going to film this part because I figure nobody needs to see this or know this. They just have four screws. Remove four screws. The lid will pop up. Just like there's different 1541-2s, there are different 1541s. The long board like this and the short board that goes about here. Either way, you clean them the same way. Since I test so many floppy discs, I just leave the top loose and then I can lift it up anytime I need to to clean these. Like over here. This has a lid on it. But to clean it, I literally lift this up. Oh, right here's a dirty one right now. This is exactly what a dirty read write head looks like. He said, that's what we need to clean. Get in here. Just get in here. Wipe it off. It's that simple. We are now clean and ready to read some more disc. And how I have this loose, that just goes right back on. Okay, over here. Same thing, you're just going to get in here and clean that little white square thing. Alright, that's clean. Oh, I love the 1541-2 drives. They don't always work on copy protected discs, but same thing. They're easier to get to. You can see how this head really flips up really easy. Then I get in here. Clean this off. That's this model. Same way with this one. Get in here. You can see how easy this is. What this takes like five seconds. If you're like me and you keep the lids off, literally five seconds to clean read right heads. What about 1571s? Take the lid off. Look at this. Same thing. We're gonna get in here and we're gonna clean this off right here. Let me clean the bottom off here. Right here, just clean this bottom one off. There's one on the top up here. But I've never used that. Here you go. Put that back together. Keep the screws off. You don't need to keep the screws in. I mean, if you're, all these old discs are dirty. You're going to need to clean your read right heads quite frequently, but you see how easy it is? Alcohol, electronic Q-tips. You could use a regular Q-tip. These last a little bit longer, plus they have a nice reach. All right, post all your questions below. Anything you want to know. If you have any Commodore 64 questions, I also have a video for 1541 drive alignments, how to realign your heads, how to, and I also have a video on how to adjust your speed. So let me know what other 15, let me know what other Commodore videos you want to see next.